Welcome back. Just as you did for sales letters, it's a good idea to consider what are the best frameworks for writing sales emails to your customers. And so we're going to ask ChatGPT that very same question. It's likely that you'll get the same information that you got for the sales letters. However, there may be different information that it can find when it scrapes the internet. So again, we're going to give as specific a prompt as we can give it. We're then going to click enter. In this case, you'll notice that the information that we received is going to be slightly different from the information that we received in terms of a framework for a sales letter. And so based on this fact, we may choose one of the unique elements that we receive from ChatGPT in order to write our customer sales email. And so we are going to take one of the frameworks and we're going to give the chatbot some additional information about writing the email. And we are now going to click enter. Now, in this case, the framework did not seem to help the chatbot to write a sufficient email. So in this case, we're just going to ask the chatbot to write an email selling the product. And this time, we're going to instruct the chatbot not to mention the price. We're now going to click enter. And in this case, we were able to get better output. And so we have something to work with in terms of our initial email to our customers. What you can do with the context that you have, as long as you continue to keep a conversation about the same project, you will then be able to use all of the previous information in order to give you content starters for specific pieces of content. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.